Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share with you a few of my yoga essentials, mostly for um, creating an at-home practice that you are excited about and look forward to and want to do daily, um, and also a few tips and tricks um, on things that I do when I go to yoga classes as well. So let's hop on in. Yoga um, essential, I guess, is following along to uh, videos on YouTube and my absolute favorite that I love so so much I'm sure if you've done yoga or looked into it. You've heard of her. It's yoga with Adrian um, She is fabulous. She's on YouTube. She does yoga for everything So there's an eight-minute yoga to just get your blood flowing There's a one-hour yoga for weight loss. There's yoga for when you're sick, yoga for when you have a headache, yoga for when you're sore yoga for your birthday, like there's every type of yoga. There's um, one. And then a physical thing to go with that, which is equally important that I love, is a yoga mat. I have a Lorna Jane yoga mat, which um, I actually would highly recommend. I love this yoga mat. I've had it for years, still going strong, um, starting to get a little worn, a little loved, but I love that about it. It's um, soft, squishy, thick so you can grip to it you don't slide or slip around on it which is very important this has like bumps on the other side as well so you can sort of use either side that you want in line with the videos um, the yoga with Adrian is the one on YouTube that I use pretty much every day I'll pick one out if I'm not doing my own flow myself um, another really good set of DVDs that I use are the Tone It Up Beach Babe DVDs. Um, I have one, two, and three here. Um, and on each of these, so this one has a beach stretch and release, the DVD three, the most recent. Um, this one has a sunset stretch, and this one has a long and lean. So they're all stretching videos, but they are targeted in and designed in a way that is yoga flow. Um, Karina runs most of them. I think she does all of them actually. And she's really into yoga. So it's got a lot of downward dogs. It's got a lot of stretching and movement um, and flowing. So it, they're really great ones as well to tack on to the end of a workout. So you get the stretching, but you also get to focus in on the breath and sort of calm your heart down. And um, they're just really great as well. They're sort of more yoga style videos than just stretching. Okay, so what do you wear when you do yoga, when you go to a yoga class or just when you're at home? So I personally love to wear tights um, when I do yoga because they suck it all in, hold it there and you're not, it's not loose so it's not flowing around, getting in your way when you're trying to get your arm through or, um, you know, annoying you. Um, it's sort of put them on, forget that there kind of thing. Um, and I love wearing crazy funky bright tights, like I love it. Why not, if you want to do something, why not do it with some fun, get some pizzazz in your clothes. Um, it just makes it more fun when I lay out my clothes to do a workout in the morning and my alarm goes off at five and I'm like, nah. I have this cute outfit to put on, so I am so much more motivated to get up and, and do it. Um, so I have a bunch here. These ones are bright floral orange and they're from Lorna Jane and they're three quarter, um, which is good for when it starts to get warmer. Um, I have a full length pair. These are Victoria's Secret Pink um, and they're really cute print uh, and they go all the way down, which is great. Uh, they have a thick band as well, which I like. I like to sort of Harry high pants, my boyfriend calls it, <laughs> but I like wearing them up higher so I feel comfortable. And these ones are gorgeous star print. These are Dharma Bombs, which are actually made in Manly um, in Australia. So that's pretty cool. And these are sort of more environmentally friendly targeted types as well, which is really nice. Um, and then I'm wearing a pair to these are from Adidas, I believe. Um, they're funky crazy colors too. I just think it's fun. Why not? For my top half when I do yoga, um, I actually really love wearing little crops that um, don't have any padding or anything in it, mostly for when I do a home practice. I just like that they're soft, um, they're easy to chuck on and I don't know, just not having any sort of seams or padding or wiring is really nice um, and because 
I'm not jumping up and down, I'm not running, it's um, suitable, I guess. Uh, that might be different for you depending on your bust size. Um, I also love wearing this one, it's a uh, Lorna Jane one and it has padding in it. Um, they're all fine, but um, these are really great for a first thing in the morning, something nice about just soft and easy to throw on. This one is um, Victoria's Secret Pink, really cute colour. Um, this one I love, it's so soft now because I've had it for so long. It's a block um, dance sort of sports bra cami thing. Um, so I like wearing those. And then for the top t-shirt tank bit, um, I normally will always wear a tank top. Um, if it's cold, I'll wear a long sleeve top. Thumb holes are always excellent. Um, I like to wear tops that are a little bit tighter. Um, just because when you're in downward dog, you don't want your back of your t-shirt over your head. Um, gets really annoying. Or when you're trying to look down and you've got like this bellowing tank loose and you're staring at your stomach rolls and you're like, oh my god. Um, so I like sort of tighter tops to just hold it all in, I guess. Um, this one is a really good one. It's a running top, but it's got a drawstring, so you can tie it tighter if you want. Where is it? Um, so if you want to pull it in tighter, that way when you're bending and stuff, it's not going anywhere. Um, I also have this one, which is a Lululemon bright top, and it's got a built-in sports bra, which is ideal for when you're half asleep. <laughs> um, and it comes in at the bottom, so it sort of holds its place too, which is nice, even though it is a bit looser, longer cut. This is really nice in summertime. That's not to say I don't wear really loose tanks as well, I do. Um, I just tuck them in at the front so they don't bother me whilst I'm doing my yoga class. And this one says kiss my abs, it's hilarious. It's from Cotton on Body. The other thing I would recommend if you're going to a yoga class um, would be to take a pair of socks with you. So you always do yoga barefoot, so if you're going to a class you can just wear flip flops. Or some Uggs if it's cold um, and then I normally chuck in a pair of socks in my bag um, because when you finish the class and you're finishing up you do mm, excuse me um, you do savasana which is where you lie on your back it's at the end of the class you soak in all the goodness from the practice you've just done um, and you go through a meditation at times you focus back in on your breath um, and you calm your body right down. Um, so it's important to keep warm. You don't want to get really cold and lie there shivering. Um, and my toes always get cold. I don't know if yours do, but mine do. <laughs> so I always have some socks. Normally the teacher will be like, okay, now, you know, get down, get comfortable, make sure you are comfortable and warm. So during that time, I'll grab my socks that I have sitting to the side um, and pop them on along with a jacket. Um, I always put on a jacket, even after I've done a class that maybe was quite... Uh, challenging or I'm really hot and out of breath, um, putting on a jacket at the end for Savasana just to make sure you get that like <clears throat> warmth feeling, it's so nice. Uh, these are both from Lorda Jane. Again with the crazy bright colours because why not, um, they're just they're fun. And then the last few things are things I would recommend for if you're trying to create a space for yourself that's really inviting. Um, I have um, at my space a candle which I like to burn um, it's just nice to have something there to sort of focus in on and feel that sense of calm and have a beautiful scent uh, this is a soy candle it's a peony and lychee one it's so nice um, it's by coastal soybeans um, and then I also have some mala beads which is a really lovely thing to have um, really good for just sort of focusing in thinking about why you want to be doing this um, why it's important to you, it's sort of what I have them for. I have them there to sort of remind me of the intentions that I'm setting. Um, and then I also have this little special coin that my mum gave me. Um, it's from Canada, um, it's something quite common over there. It's got an eagle on the front, um, like the ones that are on the top of the totem poles. Um, and then on the back it has uh, a saying or a word. Um, and she gave me the one that said intention. Um, so I like to have that sitting in the center of my mala beads with my candle. And then as I start my yoga practice, I will create an intention. I'll pick something. Uh, first thing in the morning, it may be to 
make sure I focus on the positive for the day or the other day I did one and I set my intention for the day to be happy and productive and then all throughout the day I would be doing stuff and I would think happy and productive and I'd instantly smile, think yes and I would focus on the task I'm doing at the time so I'm productive. Uh, stuff like that, it's just really nice. Oh and the last thing as well is um, your hair. What do you do with your hair? Um, I find it really annoying to have my hair out because doing a lot of movement around and it just goes everywhere. Uh, so for me it is a high ponytail or a high messy bun is what I like the best um, because when you're lying down on your back in Shavasana um, it's really annoying if you have it sort of at the centre of your back centre of your head because you're lying right on it so I like to push it up higher so it's sort of completely out of the way um, it just that's what works for me which I think is really good. So that is everything. That is my yoga essentials that I use, that I have, that I really find help to create and generate um, me wanting to do yoga. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. Let me know if you want to see more fitness or yoga style videos. Um, I I really love it so I'd love to share it with you if you're interested and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of video um, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Namaste.